Hey everybody, this is Paige at Better World Museum here in Facebook Horizon. And I'm just kind of getting better at figuring out multicasting. And so, you know, in the future, I'll put on my headset before I press play. Sorry about that. Next time, I'll do it cleaner in the beginning pretty aware of that that was sort of fumbly but hey it's Friday and on Fridays I always think about the climate oh I should have changed one part of the live streaming notice can we like stop this stop and do a, a do-over I'm not really sure or maybe I'll I should just go with it but this might be titled Wonderful Wednesdays accidentally. So let me let me give a peek and stop this right now. I can I can redo this. This is a timeout. Hey everybody. This is Paige. And I'm starting over. This is a, a fresh, fresh take. Hey everybody, hi. It's Climate Fridays. Let's make something that it surrounds climate. So we're going to hop over to the Horizon Art School. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to be on our way. See you there. This is in the blue. My world is preparing for visitors. And here we go. All right. Hey, here we are at Horizon Art School. Hey, Horizon Art School is a location uh, here in Facebook Horizon that offers classes on art education like sculpture or 3d painting or um facebook horizon building 101 but some fridays we have climate hacks that are public social events and i wanted to do that um today i don't have an event planned but I can still also do a Friday Climate Hackathon-esque live stream. So right now, I have so, um, some of the set from our last hackathon with a, a box of primary shapes, a finish button at the end, and... Um, over, over there, I made some leaves fall. So that's the environment that we're in right now at the Horizon Art School. Let's 
also make something. Let's make a smart solution. Um, surrounding climate with some primary shapes and maybe those leaves that we have. Maybe we can create a new kind of composting earth system or area that uh, creates ground cover for new seeds and just that is part of the practice of earth um, conservation and that is something that we need to protect like the watershed and um, soil and um, its nutrients and making sure that there's land that is viable for growing plants and um, supporting animals, little, little microbiomes. So inspired by the leaves that I have blowing over there, falling from the trees and some of these shapes, let's kind of create, just make something for a little bit and talk about climate okay all right perfect and that when we're at the end we'll press the finish button which is the best part of all so this is the finish button and we won't press it yet okay not until we decide that we made something that we feel confident with. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a couple of shapes from my shape box. Going into grab a couple and bring them over to where the leaves are. I'm carrying my shapes. Wonderful. Okay, we're over here now. And I'm just going to set these here. As maybe this will be a leaf funneler. And this can... Um, be a wedge that comes out of it for now. Okay. We've started. Now we're going to go into builder mode. And we have our little wedger coming out. And this is important for some reason that I don't know yet. Oh, maybe that just made a grinder. We're just kind of open-minded making. Without a clear purpose. Yeah. I'm going to group that. Okay, this will help grind our, um, our leaves into a uh, really fine mulch. And we can animate this. Let's open it up. Press animate, record. Stop. And loop that continually. Play it on start. And should we speed it up? Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. Don't get your fingers caught in the leaf mulcher. It's kind of cool. All right. Since we're in builder mode, we're able to grab some more of these shapes and bring them over. Ooh, but I'll do it in this in pedestrian mode. Hmm. Oops. Okay, I'll walk them over. I can already see our mulcher doing good work. Okay, I see an opportunity here also for um, having little birdhouses. Okay, there, there we have an inspired solution from one of our shapes. We took a purple shape and turned it into a birdhouse. That was, that was a simple and obvious thing to do. And then we have this, we have a red ball here. We did. We had a red ball. And there it is. Okay. What can we do with this red ball that would help help it, you know, create a smarter system here? Maybe we could just make this something in which had uh, it has a particle effect in which this is a little beacon that records data And sends out energy telling the world um, about how how many um, bees and pollinators are in the area. So this, this is collecting smart data. It has a M2M sensor in it, which allows other, other like sensors like over here on the building to recognize um, 
uh, triangulations that are helping sustain the pollinators. So that's what the, this is. And it may not be a real thing, or it may be a, um, something in my imagination, but there's no reason why there can't be solutions like this that are helping to um, smoothly and silently promote and protect pollinators. And with this purple beam here, we can put it here as a sign in which invites people to um, write a poem about the climate. Climate Poet Tree Space Or Park Climate Poetry Park Perfect By Playing like this With just building random climate solutions what it does is it helps helps us generate ideas that can be used in the real world why can't there be a climate poetry park i feel like there can be this sign was made out of um Recycled 3D shapes. There we go. So now we have, in just a very short amount of time, we've created um, a mulchifier, a birdhouse, a M2M sensor that um, records, protects, and propagates pollinators. And we turn this into Climate Poetry Park so that people know that what happens here is important and has a place to um, uphold standards that support climate actions. So thank you so much for joining me today on this Friday live steam, stream, Friday climate. And we look forward to next Friday doing another one of these climate hangout live streams and organizing some live events here again in Facebook Horizons, Horizon Art School, that are focused on community building um, based on uh, climate hacks. So thanks, this is Paige Danzinger, founding director of Better World Museum and the Horizon Art Museum, and I'll see you again later. Bye-bye.